In today's tutorial, we're gonna learn how to enhance details and sharpen textures using the powerful Details tool in Aperti. Starting from the beginning, let's talk about what the Details tool is. The Details tool in Aperti is designed to enhance the sharpness and details of your portrait images by adjusting fine details at various scales. You can individually adjust small, medium and large details. This powerful feature allows you to selectively increase or decrease the sharpness of textures and facial features without compromising the overall softness of the portrait. To get a complete control of this tool and the final result, this tool comes with an additional controllers allowing you to adjust the details protection and also preserve the image textures. Ok, so moving into the application where we are already in the editing module. Now I already have the sample file here and if you want to follow me along on your own computer, simply jump into the description of this video, follow the link there and download it. Once you have it ready, we can start. Now moving into the main editing toolbar which is on the right side of the screen and there you're going to see a little icon with the three sliders on it. When you click on that, toolbar will open with the essentials tool. Here you will see histogram, develop or develop pro tool, curves and so on. I already applied a little bit of develop tool and curves just to balance the image and generally after that I take care of the sharpness and details and this is where the details tool will step in. So moving into details tool, once you see it, you can click on a little triangle in front of it or the name of the tool and by clicking on it, it will open. Inside of the tool, we have a five sliders. Small details, medium details, large details, details protection and preserve textures. You can see that the details protection and preserve textures is off until we apply one of these sliders first. So when we apply small details, you will see that the details protection and preserve textures are available. Anyway, coming to our sliders. So when you apply a slider, you can always double click on it to reset it. At the same time, when you apply a slider or multiple sliders, you can use an additional options in the top right corner of the tool where you can reset the tool and you can also look at the before and after by clicking on the eye icon. So let's reset the sliders and start by looking at the details sliders. As I already mentioned earlier, the details tool has an advantage of being able to adjust the small, medium and large details separately. Now, how does it work? Let's say that we're going to focus on small details. When you take the slider and push it towards the right, you add the details, looking at the image. And when you do the opposite, as you guessed, you're going to remove them. So you're going to create kind of dreamy effect. Now, both of the sides, regardless if you add or remove the details, can be used for multiple purposes, and especially the dreamy look can be a very creative way of creating very trendy effect. Anyway, for us, we're going to be focusing on adding the details, and let's just have a look. So for the small details, those in general are quite good for bringing back some of the skin pores or for enhancing eyelashes or eyebrows. After that, the medium details, they are quite good for enhancing hair, fabric and additional parts with a little bit more texture in it. And finally, the large details, they are very handy when you want to enhance and add more details to textures, fabrics and other elements on the image. Let's reset it and let's go back to small details. Let's increase them and now focus on details protection and preserve textures. Both of them in different ways helps you to protect or preserve the different elements of your image. The details protection slider works very similarly to the masking in a sharpen tool. 
Basically, by applying it, you allow the application to select the areas which have edges and details on it and apply the details only to those areas. So, for example, looking at the surrounding of the person or the areas which are a little bit soft, by applying the details protection, you will allow the application avoid these areas and only apply the details to the areas with the texture in it. So, details protection, very similar to masking in the Sharpen tool. After that, preserve textures. By default, it's on 50 to keep the result natural. However, you can increase it and really apply the details only to the small part of the image, or you can bring it all the way down, and that way you will apply the details everywhere. Now you can see how strong is it on the face and on the hair and also on the cloth. But by bringing it to 50, it's already a little bit better, and by bringing it up to somewhere around 80, you have quite good results. Now the key here is to find a balance between the amount of small details or medium or large detail slider and the preserve texture slider. Again, by default it's on 50 and generally that works quite well. Now let's reset the tool and let's have a look how we can use the details in combination with masking. So for example, we only want to add small details to the eyebrows. So let's zoom in. And after this, we're going to navigate into the masking. So let's do that. Once we navigate into the masking, here we can click on the little plus sign in the top right corner. And let's select one of the tools. Since we're going to be working with the eyebrows, let's select the brush. And after that, you're probably familiar with the adjustments. We can adjust the size of the brush, the softness and strength. Well, for the strength, let's go for 60. For the softness, let's keep it on 100, and with the size, let's stay on, let's say, 60. Again, we can zoom in a little bit closer using the wheel on the mouse or using Command or Control Plus. And now, very easily, we're just going to brush over the eyebrows. So we're going to do something like this. Similarly, for the other side, there you have it. Now you can see that as you apply the brush, you get this little red overlay, allowing you to easily see where you're brushing. Now to remove an area which you have selected by mistake, simply change the brush up here from paint to erase, or you can also use X on your keyboard, which does exactly the same. So by switching to erase, we can now easily remove the area where we have went a little bit too far. So something like this, and that's it. Again, you can hit X, you can use the bracket keys to adjust the size of the brush. Let's say add another area. And once you're happy with the selection, we can now go out of the masking and return into our details. So now we have an area selected and what we're going to do very easily, we're going to take the small details and we're going to increase them. And by doing that, we are now applying the details only to the area of the eyebrows. Again, it's up to you how much you want to add, but for me somewhere, yeah, around 70 looks quite good. If you want, you can adjust some other adjustments in the tool. However, for the eyebrows and for the example on how to use the masking in combination with details, I think that this will do. So this is how you use the details tool in Aperity application by simply going into the essential tools and opening the details tool. One more time, you can separately adjust the small, medium and large details using these sliders. And on top of it, you can fine tune the result using the details protection, similarly to the masking slider in Sharpen, preserving the textures using the slider below. Now, before we going to finish, just a quick reminder that this tutorial is powered by our brand new professional portrait LUT bundle. This brand new bundle is focusing on portrait editing and it will allow you to use the 170 expertly crafted LUTs to quickly and easily adjust your portrait photos. Now this bundle is of course compatible with the Aperity software, but you can also use it with Luminar Neo, Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Code and so much more. Now to get the best possible price for the professional portrait LUT bundle, simply follow the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, head to our website cleverphotographer.com. And that's the end of today's 
tutorial. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like and share it. And if you have any question about today's topic or about property, then write it in the comment section under this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss on any of our future content focusing on property and Luminar Neo. For today, my name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.